morning everybody welcome back to another weekly vlog this is not a weekly vlog because it is thursday <laughs> um i haven't been very well this week i think i've got an ear and throat infection i've just felt really really loud so so i am um, yeah i haven't picked the camera up we are i'm just doing breakfast for me and adam he's at home today he was out yesterday um but you know when like when you get poorly you normally get really off your food and you don't really feel like eating no whatever it is that i've got i feel the absolute and utter complete opposite i just want food so much food and bread i love like i'm craving bread so fancy whenever i go to costa i always have the mushroom and emmental emmental toaster now i haven't got any emmental cheese but i've got gouda cheese which is really good for toasties so i'm gonna make me and adam a um, gouda and mushroom toastie so if you don't know what gouda is i have to google what the best cheese for toasties was because the other day I did us a cheese, ham and pineapple toaster. <laughs> yeah. I also do our toasties in the frying pan um, rather than a toasty because I don't like. I was talking about looking trying to get. Um, when you do like in a toasty, you know the ones that make it into triangles. Like I don't like the bits, the corner bits. They're quite hard, like where they're cooked. I really don't like them. I prefer just doing it in the frying pan, so it's not like sealed together. I made like a press or something. That's what I need. But I haven't got one of them. But that's what I need. I need a press. But yeah, I'm gonna cut my bread now and start putting my toasty together. Oh, look at that. I'm very excited. It caught a bit on the pan, though. Oh, I'm a bit sad. I had it on the bigger heat wrong. Um, but it tastes nice, hopefully, still. Hi again. I feel like the only time I turn the camera on at the moment is when I'm doing food. <laughs> so, because we had a toasty for lunch, I decided to have a salad. No, because we had a toasty for breakfast. I decided to have a salad for lunch. But um, I'm not a massive salad -y person, so I made a nice um olive oil and balsamic vinegar dressing i think i may have over balsamic and then i've got some gnocchi and i'm just going to add the gnocchi to the salad and we've got a little bit of a wrap to go with it and that's going to be our lunch today oh i'm very dark very dark indeed but yeah so it's a little bit different i'm really trying to be more adventurous. Oh, uh, just a quick one. Alexander Stadium, did you say we have some outside lights tripping? I don't know. He's having, he's having, he's having that a great day at work today. There's a lot going on. Lots of people are like, we need this done. We need that done. Yeah. And Adam's like, I can't do it because him, him and him haven't done their job. So I'm waiting on them to do their job so I can do my job. And it's just basically. So I'm just like providing food. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep like feeding him in the hopes that he um, gets done what he needs to get done in a not stressful manner. There you go, that's our lunch today. It looks alright, don't it? Don't look too bad. No idea what it's gonna look at all. Right, I've got oh all the guys, kids. I just finished my first box of nerds out of four, so I got like what, three to go. It's so weird. <laughs> He's so weird. It's unbelievable. Um, Adam's just on his way outside to secure the garden, aren't you, dear? I've got no idea what he's doing because we're being. Uh, England's going to be hit by Storm Eunice. I think it is. Eunice. Is that not how you say it? No, that does sound about right. And apparently, it's like the, the South have had red warnings. Which is a bit scary. We haven't had a red warning. We're on an amber warning. But it was so windy last night that I'm just thinking um, it's best just to secure as much stuff as we possibly can. Just in case, because you don't want to get, obviously, any damage anywhere or anything like that. So Adam's just popping out and doing a few bits and bobs. 
Um, and then we're going to have dinner. Got all the tiddlies at home. They've all had a lovely day at school, which is nice. So, yeah, they've all had a lovely day, I think. Just talking about next term. Like, Seth starts swimming next term, which is fun. And... Um, nothing else really grace did really amazing at school today she had a maths assessment and it was out of 57 with bonus questions and she got 57 out of 57 and then she did the bonus question which was worth three points so she got like 60 out of 57 so she got like 105 percent or something like that amazing like even the maths teacher was like that's amazing so really proud of grace at the moment because she hasn't had it easy at school she's had a few ups and downs with just like classes and like what was that flash like friendship groups and stuff like that in a class not friend friends she's got lovely friends but just groups in classes where unfortunately her friends aren't <laughs> So it's just a bit like, oh, but she seems to hopefully touch wood be settling down now and having such a lovely time and just absolutely thriving. Really is. Okay. <laughs> but I'm doing dinner. I'm doing a really random dinner. I've got macaroni and cheese on the go. I've got no chicken nuggets on the go, corn on the cob on the go, and then we're gonna go all American and have some chips, AKA crisps with our dinner. <laughs> Happy Friday everybody. I have just done the food shopping. I am currently just putting it away. I hate this part of it. I actually detest putting the food shopping away. Um, and we were meant to be getting hit by this storm Eunice or whatever it's called. And we haven't had really anything at all. A tiny little bit of wind. I'm hoping it's going to miss us, but obviously it is the amber warnings in place till like seven tonight or something like that. So there is a chance that we could still get a little bit blustery. It's the last day of school today as well, so I'm so I'm really excited for the kids to break up for half term because we've got a few plans which I'm excited about, and we've got gymnastics tonight as well just to finish off. But yeah, I've just, I'm just going to enjoy the time with the family. That's the plan anyway. And I need to get all the shopping away. I, I, like, I can't actually even begin to explain how much I hate putting shopping away. <laughs> right, I think the storm is hitting a little bit now. It's, um... Oh, did you turn the table upside down? Yes, you did, you div. I was just seeing my tables upside down. I'm like, oh. Um, it's more wet than windy to be honest the trees and that aren't moving it's just absolutely lashing it down like absolutely oh there's a squirrel oh just sat in the rain eating nuts and stuff oh he's clearly not bothered <laughs> oh bless him I want to go out and like give him some more food although he's not playing now but yeah, it's really, really wet. There's <laughs> just a random squirrel in this weather just sat on the bird feed at you. That's made me laugh. Right, me and Adam are going on an adventure. Um, he's got to take a fridge freezer to his lady friend. <laughs> it's really wild. <laughs> but she's not, though. No, I don't know how to explain it. Right, I'm in the car now. There was literally no point whatsoever in film being outside because um, the wind. <laughs> But so she's not, she's like she's not a client as such because my dad introduced Adam to her um, just to do a few odds and jobs, and she hasn't got any family or anything. And Adam's just kind of become her go-to person to call for things. She was like, my fridge freezer's broken. A <laughs> fridge. Oh, a fridge. Sorry, a fridge is broken. So Adam. Oh, not this way. <laughs> Adam has ordered her a new fridge and had it delivered to our house and then we don't take it up and he'll put it in for her <laughs> so he's like he's like gained a granny he's like a nan she's like your nan isn't she adam's just like inherited a nan <laughs> but she's lovely she buys like the kids easter eggs and stuff which is really sweet but yeah so we're gonna do that but it is incredibly windy so it, it's yeah, not i mean there's trees on the road but there was, what? there was a tree on the road what? bit of a tree a bit of a tree 
it is really windy and where and where she lives is like in the middle of like the woods like the licky hills um and it's very very treey treey it's a wood so but i'm sure it'll be fine she was like no no you don't have to come now but because we've got the school run later and um, adam doesn't and he needs to stand the fridge up before he fits in tomorrow so that all the gases settle so he's just gonna go now and i go on a little mission he needs my help to get out of the car ah. so, yes yeah, so that's what we're doing all right well here yeah. adam has parked me under trees like it's really windy now and he's parked me under these trees i have got the keys i could move but it is really windy i mean you can't really say there's like a big conifer there that's moving quite a bit but the cars are like quite the cars are a bit rockety rockety and keeps coming in like gusts and stuff i wasn't very helpful when i got here too far i didn't do anything i don't really know what the point of me coming was <laughs> We're back we survived um i'm just gonna make a cup of tea now and i've got to do the school run still so i've got to survive the school run it is actually really windy we've just come past a road that's fairly close to us and there's a tree down it's foul like along along in line with the path um so it's not too much in the road but there's just somebody i'm presuming someone that lives by it that's just trying to get some of the smaller branches out of the road and they've put some cones out so there's more than enough room to drive around it's not obstructing the road but it's a fairly big tree that's down so you know if that's happening here where we don't think it's that blustery god knows what's happening where it's really windy and adam bless him he's just said because we've got gymnastics tonight and he's just said, I don't think you should do gymnastics tonight. He's like, I think we should just all, once we're home, just be home and stay in safe. I think going out has made him realise how bad it is out there. Like, I didn't realise either it was that bad outside. But it is pretty windy. So, I don't know. I'll see how Grace feels. I don't, I don't mind going. Um, I, don't, I don't really get nervous of, like, driving in extreme weather conditions. But if she's not up for it i'm not gonna push it that's for sure so let me settle down have a cup of tea before we get the little tea wings from school so i'm wondering if they were allowed out for break like they'll be running around the playground Elijah said he's just gonna keep jumping and seeing if he can fly <laughs> he was like Ooh. he was seeing it in the playground this morning but it wasn't windy at all this morning so i think he just wants to see if he can fly i'm just thinking now reuben will be on Reuben and Grace will be on lunch now. So. I'm just editing this and I've realised I've been a terrible blogger. <laughs> terrible. Um, thank you so much for watching this ridiculously short snippet of our week. And next week will be much better because it's half time. But thank you so much for watching the video everybody. I wanted to put it up anyway even though it's basically a video of nothingness. <laughs> But just because for me, it's my little online diary. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.